Right, okay, Rudy, is this going to work? Yes, it is. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, look, thank you very much. Um, I'm not sure there's a tremendous amount more for me to say after that very eloquent speech by Angelina Jolie, which I noticed very much focused on the aspect of this being a crime, that there needs to be procedures that handle that crime to document and to prosecute it in a fair and law-abiding way. But she also directs herself to you, to young people worldwide, as well as older people, to really raise the awareness and to keep this subject going beyond this week. Because I think all of our um, colleagues in London and many delegates worldwide are now coming into London to have these, what will at times be quite harrowing and difficult conversations, but they will have the euphoria of being together and informing each other and feeling part of a common purpose. And then, come Thursday, it will finish, and it's still got to be continued. And I think that's one of the things that you'll be addressing in your communique, which is, how do you go on from here? We can call upon people to do things, but where will those things, how will those things actually translate into practical processes or practical aftermaths? Well, I think that's the challenge for all of us. And um, I hope this is not the last time that we'll be sitting and talking, not necessarily with Jack and Nelson, but wherever we are, to just to check and just to see that we did actually inform each other, and with the great help of Sire and my colleagues here, and the schools of Pretoria High School, the convening power of Pretoria High School, the convening power of the Rainish Academy in Stellenbosch, where I went Saturday after being with all of you in Pretoria, we just need to make sure that continues. We just need to make sure that continues. Um, we've got some, as it happens, some great South African speakers talking at the conference this week. Some of your most important and powerful women from the United Nations and from the African Union will be there. And some of your very active uh, NGOs will be also there. So we've got a good base to go on. We've got your enthusiasm, now your knowledge, because you maybe didn't know so much about this subject before you really began to look at your country's records. But now you do. <laughs> so that knowledge is in you. And you know, you've got to make it go further in the future. So thank you very, very much for taking part in this. It's been really interesting and stimulating. Uh, admittedly, I only was two thirds of through the debate in Pretoria. I was better instead of Bosch. I stayed through to the end. Um, and in fact, it was interesting because I think the Western Cape teams were less well briefed than you seemed at the beginning, but they really caught up during the discussion and came very much to the same sorts of conclusions uh, two or three hours into the debate. And such was enthusiasm that the time passed incredibly quickly um, on that Saturday morning. So I think we're now going to look, you're going to read and explain, I think, your communique. And I'd like very much, you know, to sort of maybe take two or three minutes, maybe a little bit more when you've read your communique, just to get views from the floor as to, you know, what you've really got out of this process, maybe what personally has struck you the most, and, you know, how you might see things going forward. No long speeches, just, you know, one or two thoughts, just so we can have a little bit of interactivity. It won't be very long, but it will be interactive. <laughs> Otherwise, it won't be interactive at all. Um, and then I think my colleagues um, here in the uh, High, High Commission are going to talk a little bit about the, the work that they do. And hopefully, you will see some of that hectic negotiating that you were doing, whizzing around the floor and trying to get language agreed um, or not agreed, um, how much that approximates to real life in terms of trying to bring on board different peoples. And although you know, it's tough bringing your delegations on board. You are actually all citizens of the democracy of South Africa. Um, and therefore, you do come from a common sort of sense of priorities and values. But imagine dealing for real with 150 countries with actually different approaches, different cultures, different religions, different value systems, although great congruity between us all. So it gives you an idea of what it's like to be a diplomat, trying to work with that, trying to really understand the people that you're trying to achieve common cause with. 
Okay, so let's be true to Angelina Jolie and her wish that people will think twice before, with impunity in the future, they indulge in sexual violence in conflict. Right.